What can stop you if you fight? Oh, we got a times five charge. I should be able to get a one tap here soon. But I feel like a sniper is about to hit me really hard. Oh, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's newest video. My name is Frosty. The Snowman. And in this one, we are taking a look at an exotic from D1 coming into Destiny 2. And that is my baby, the Hawk Moon. All right, let's take a look at the perks real quick. Paracausal shot. Final blows and precision hits with the Hawk Moon grant stacks of Paracausal charge. The final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks. Stowing Hawk Moon on the final round removes this bonus. Now, if you're like me in D1, you remember it had luck in the chamber. You used to be with a two tap. Sometimes you got the random one shot bullet and it was crazy. Even if you got the ornament, you can get the little feathers to light up as well. So Bungie doesn't want to bring luck in the chamber back into the game. And this is the changes they did. Upon a first impressions, I got to say, I'm not too impressed it wasn't too crazy it wasn't too exotic -y, but i will say though whenever you get that final bullet and it does a little <laughs> by the way that's the real sound of it you just you just you get like tingles man it feels great sounds amazing the hand cannon glows and it, overall it, it's pretty cool aesthetically but anyways there's more to talk about this weapon we have transformative Future drops of this weapon will have random rolls. Now, I might be wrong, um, and if so, this is the only perk here that will change, but I believe the grip and the first barrel will also change. There's a couple options just to make the weapon a little bit better with range, stability. You can get things like Killing Wind, Range Finder. So I don't have my hands on that, but when I do, you can definitely count on me to cover it. I'm gonna assume it will make the weapon a little bit better, but really, we're here to talk about the weapon itself and the exotic perk. Anything else that I can say? Yeah, so upon first impressions, you gotta get at least six stacks so that the final bullet can one tap to the head. At seven stacks, you can one shot body shot, it doesn't matter. So it's a little bit challenging, I will say. It's gonna take a lot of practice. This is not a hand cannon that a lot of people can pick up and just take advantage of the perk right away. You know, I will personally say it's gonna take me a couple hours to get down the usage of this weapon because if you're like me, I'm used to reloading all the time and I always wanna reload. I'll shoot one shot, I'm not engaging anybody, reload. I'm about to run out of bullets, reload. So you're gonna have to train yourself in order to use the Hawk Moon, all right? But once you do, whew, you're gonna start getting those one taps, right? Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. The rest of the loadout is just to complement the gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoy watching. Let's get into it. Ooh, grenades coming in. Careful. Get shot from the side. What a good grenade. You have advantage. I'm gonna go outside with this. Crispy body shot. I'm gonna try to build more headshots here. Damn. Zone A capture. You have a I feel like I can't hit my shots with this thing. Probably too excited. Down. So I got a times four. I don't think that one taps, but I'm just want to shoot it at somebody. Oops, I missed. We're so agile. Zone A lost. Power play. Enemy has your zone. Don't be captured. 
Got body shot though. Looks like we spawn kill them, spawn wipe them a little bit. Wage war like a true titan. Zone A captain, you have advanced. Oh, times five. Sixty damage. No. <laughs> I'm close to a super. Get a little bit of stasis going on. Oh, I got sniped. Shot the wrong guy. Should have just shot him. Gotta get rid of these guys from the map. Mm. Whoa, that didn't kill? I'm lucky. Should have froze him again. I thought that was gonna kill him. Or at least send them flying enough <laughs> to where I could like think of my next play, but he was like right in front of me. Oh, I didn't see this guy. So, yeah, man, the amount of times you're going to get the one shot to proc. You know, <laughs> it's not happening, bro. As an exotic perk, you don't have the, the wow factor. At this point, you just use it because it looks and it sounds like Hawkmoon. But nothing about it, exotic-wise, reminds me of Hawkmoon while I'm playing with this. Nice. As a Hawkmoon fan from D1, I mean, it's it's not Hawkmoon. It looks like it, sounds like it, but it, it does not have like the exotic hype. That's for sure. I'm getting double team a little bit. You have advanced. Zone A captured. Zone C lost. Once I get to B, I need to try to stay around this area a little bit more. Zone B captured. They're pretty good at combating the the zones here. Oh, we got a times five charge. I should be able to get a one tap here soon. But I feel like a sniper is about to hit me really hard. Oh, let's go. Just barely, man. I hit the two headshots and then I heard that. And then I got the one tap on the other guy. It was like 200 something damage. But um, look, look how much you have to do for all that to really go down, you know? Oh, nice. Oh, 
Oh no. Thanks, teammate. I'm gonna pop a super here. That's not good at all. Oh, I got body shot so hard. Hoping my teammates can capture A. I don't want to lose B. Oh man, of course. I was about to change my attention to the power ammo. It was too late. You know, it might take me some practice to get the one taps going, but I'm very surprised how much I'm not getting the Hawk to proc or one shot. Man, I'm getting teamed so hard. Luckily though, I did hit these guys with a nice little cloud strike. Cloud smoke. And my teammates cleaned up a little bit. Damn, I got triple teamed. Uh, Wormhaven is not going to be the most complimentary map for primary dueling. You're a wall around those zones. Take that <laughs> beyond the crucible. 